Hello everybody, Cam94 here. After about a year or two not doing videos, I'm back. Um, yeah, my balls have dropped. <laughs> Watching a few of my old videos and having a good laugh. I wanted to thank all my subscribers out there for everything they've done. And I know I haven't released a video in ages to do with PSP. So, yesterday I, was, I wanted to torrent FIFA 2010 for my PSP because I couldn't find any decent PC ones and it says that you need the 5.5 uh, original Sony firmware to be able to play it and Dark Alex has gone off the PSP scene for unknown reasons as far as I'm concerned not really sure why he's given up but yeah so there's a new team called uh, Gen, G-E-N, I think it stands for Generation, I'm not sure. But anyway, in, basically, if, you, if you're stuck on an M33 firmware, for example, for .00 M33, like I was, you, you, you want to update to, uh, to, to 5.5 so that you can uh, play all the latest games. And there's no 5.5 MP3, so what the hell are you supposed to do? Well, I'll tell you what you're supposed to do. Take a look at my screen here. Yes. I'm using my shitty uh, laptop screen. Right. Go to this URL. It will be posted over there. Over there. And uh, what you do is... Explains a bit. Shows a picture of a PSP. Blah, blah, blah. And then it says download right over here. And you just pick any one of them, download it. Then you end up with a zip file, with a raw file, sorry. Yeah, you can use WinRAR to uh, open it up, extract it, whatever you want. So yeah, make sure you've got at least 3.52 M33 for this to work, or else you'll end up breaking your PSP. And and I emphasise if you have a PSP 3000 which is the new one you know the new cool one whatever this will not work and if you have a PSP slim with a TAO 88 version 3 motherboard you will brick your PSP I repeat if you have a PSP, PSP 3000 or a PSP 2000 with which is PSP slim with a mo with a motherboard of TA088 version 3, you will brick your PSP. It will go boom. You'll need a Pandora's battery to fix it again. But if you have a nice fat PSP like me, you'll be alright. So once you've downloaded it, make sure your battery is at least 78% full, or even better, just to uh, keep your PSP in the charger. And when you turn your PSP on, Turn it off first. Now I've already installed the firmware. Yeah. I was afraid I'd break my PSP and do something wrong because I haven't used it for so long. When you hold R, then your good old uh, recovery menu comes up. And you scroll down to plugins, which is third from the last. Press X. And make sure you disable everything. If it says enabled, basically just. Uh, select it and press X and then it disables itself again so yeah now stay on our PSP make sure as you can see there's a new XMB it's not a custom theme it's uh, something that comes with this new firmware I, I don't know if it comes with the Sony firmware too but I just selected originals theme right um, USB connection blah blah USB mode memory stick yes I want to open folder to view file. Now, you're going to head over to your PSP folder. You should have one of them. If you don't, oh crap, what did I just do? Right, yeah, sorry about that. My mouse has been funny. And uh, I dragged my PSP folder into my plugins folder. Anyways, you open your PSP up. You should see a folder called PSP. If you don't, then you've got problems. And uh, you'll have a folder called Game. Go into that. And then, as you can see, I've got FIFA 2005 Tekken 3. 
good old PS1 games. Open your WinRAR. You'll have another folder in there called PSP. You can all license me. PSP game. Yeah, you're there. Update. Now you drag this update into game, and you'll have a folder here. And then just go out of USB mode. And remember, you have to have at least 3.52 M33 by Dark Alex. I can't really tell you if it will work with an OEA firmware or whatever, but I think they stopped 2.75. Then you go to good old game, memory stick, and you'll get a little something over here which uh, says uh, 5.50 Gen A custom firmware. You click on it and you get the normal black screen that you get with all the M33s. Basically, it's just like updating to 5.5 M33, except it has a different name. You get the black thing, you press X, then you wait a while, and then it looks like you've dipped your PSP, but you haven't. And then the normal Sony update, Sony updater comes up, and then you find really. And then it just runs smoothly, and you get this uh, nice uh, new uh, thing in the gig. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe. I've got about 300 already from my previous videos from when I was smaller. But yeah, the main reason why I decided to make this video was mainly because, like I said, I wanted to torrent FIFA 2010, and then I realised that's not going to work with my old uh, version 4.00 and 33. I mean, that's how long I haven't touched my PSP for. So yeah. Cheers for watching, and if you have any questions, comment down there. Um, feel free to send requests, but I'm not promising anything. And uh, if anything should go wrong, I'm not responsible, I'm sorry. I know, I, I should have made this video really showing you step by step. I tried doing my best, but like I said, I haven't used my PSP in ages. I, I didn't want to brick it on camera and make a fool of myself. Just, I'll get pissed. Alright. Subscribe, plucks. Bye-bye.